After spending a couple of weeks, if not months, on a particular Lego mock, it always comes down to the disconnecting process. Not my favorite part, but because I break my mock so I can continue creating more content for you guys. And because I don't have a room full of Lego just like Jane Bricks, in fact, I build inside of a tiny closet with a few organizing bins. Yeah. For many years now, I've been avoiding making this exact video because I thought this kept happening on accident or unintentionally. But a few broken pieces later, I have a bin or a container full of broken LEGO pieces. I found this odd because LEGO is known to be the premium building blocks brand, unlike the other ones. And the fact that a 10x10 base plate snaps without any effort is kinda weak. This most commonly happens with tiles, plates, and 2x2 round bricks apparently. Every time a piece breaks, it costs an average 11 cents. And if you calculate this pile right here, it equals around 4 US dollars. That's a full LEGO Friends poly bag right there. And of my broken LEGO pieces collection, 99% of them are in the reddish brown color. Could this be happening because of age or the way they're manufactured? I honestly have no idea why these particular pieces are so weak. 